Hi guys, just going to have another little go with my potato battery, see if I can get it to do anything useful. I've got this cheap dynamo torch, and what I'm going to do is take it apart, get the coil out of the middle of the dynamo, and see if I can use that to um, push a magnet around using a bit of circuitry, a couple of transistors, a capacitor and a diode. Basically the same sort of circuit that was on this beam bot and see if I can get it to, as I say, push a magnet. Took a bit of effort, but that's the coil. So I now need to solder the leads to something useful so that I can plug it into a breadboard, I think. Just going to see what happens if I add some vinegar. see the LED there. It certainly seems to be flashing a bit brighter now. Well, not a lot happening there. I'm going to give that potato battery a rest now. For completeness, I will just go through the circuitry that I'm using because I wanted to use that coil that I've taken out of the dynamo torch. So I'll just explain what we've got going on here. I've now got a solar panel there instead of the potato battery. That's just one taken out of one of those garden lights. It's quite a large one because it's quite an old one. The newer ones are smaller. Um, so, solar panel, capacitor, resistor, two transistors, LED that I've put in a little shroud there so you might be able to actually see it turn on and off. It's just beginning to go on there. Yeah, don't know if that was visible or not. Um, and the coil that I've taken out of that dynamo torch. And then we've got a neodymium magnet just suspended on a thread on a little tripod of toothpicks. Every time the capacitor discharges it discharges through the coil, that creates a magnetic circuit, and the magnetic circuit repels the magnet, so that makes it swing about. Down here I've got my meter set to volts, and every time it gets above about 2.7, between 2.7 and 3, that's enough to trigger the circuitry, LED flashes, and there we go and the capacitor discharges through there. The circuit I've actually got from www.solarbotics.net I'll put a link in the video description just so you can find it. Very simple circuit. I'll just run through the uh, components. That's a 4700 microfarads capacitor, uh, flashing LED, the resistor is 2.2K, 
the that transistor is a 2N3906 and that one is a 2N3904 and as I say I'll link to the circuit in the video description anyway so you can find it and that was what I was trying to do with that potato battery in the end there but I'm gonna let that have a rest now and just sit there and watch this working this is the same circuit in essence as those solar movers use the um, snowman that I've got running off the other potato battery which is still running quite happily that's four days now I think that's been going three or four days and if I could just get a bit more power I'm sure this would run as well maybe lemon batteries or something or just bigger potatoes to give us a bit more current <laughs> 